Hello, you can see that today for review I've got Fuse uh, recently released uh, portable wireless digital uh, to analog converter with headphones amplifier, it's Q5S. First Q5 was released a few years ago, it gathered a lot of attention because it offered a really good sounding for um, affordable price. And uh, Q5S is not an exception. Few tried to do their best and packed it with all modern features, protocols, uh, connectivity options and so on. Just briefly speaking about the technical specifications, as digital tonal converter here used the uh, dual AK4493 chips. For the wireless protocols here used Qualcomm latest CSR8675, don't remember exact index, but latest Qualcomm chip. And they even put XMOS uh, controller chip for USB interface here. They tried to implement as much as possible and uh, they made it, made it uh, iPhone certified. They've added all modern uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth protocols, as you can see, LDAC, aptX HD, and so on. Even aptX low latency present here. What else I can say about it? Uh, probably I also need to mention the price. Price is $350. Could be a bit more depending on taxes and uh, import fees. And uh, actually, I think uh, I need to answer the question who will need a digital tonal converter nowadays? First of all, it's a good chance to get the better sound than uh, depths in this price range can offer you. Because definitely Cube5S can be compared with players from $500 range and even more. Also, it's pretty convenient when your media library is stored on your, stored on your smartphone or you are using some streaming services, you just can stream your music. And also it can be used as desktop digital tonal converter, so it's a pretty universal device. That now I probably said enough. Well, if I started speaking about technical specifications, uh, output power is more than 200 milliwatts for 32 ohms load from single-ended output and more than uh, 550 milliwatts for 32 ohms load from the balanced out. I think it's pretty impressive. Battery lifetime is close to nine uh, to ten hours. Usually from nine to ten hours, closer to ten and uh, charging it took about three hours so now i probably say everything package is pretty traditional for recent few products nice polygraphy basic features are listed here as usual there is a sticker to check if you have an original product and inside of this box you will have you name it here another box nice traditional Chinese black cardboard box with nice gold embers. Inside there is a cheat sheet, pretty useful with all the basic information about the controls. Nice touch. Device itself. Let me put it aside for a while. Small additional information about driver free mode. And a bunch of accessories. So quick start guide, warranty card. Also you will have this silicon spacer to protect your source. If you use it with smartphone or with some other device, you can use it as a spacer so your smartphone won't be scratched. Additional Additional screws for amplifier, pretty nice screwdriver, carrying pouch, and set of cables. So, USB C for charging and to connect it to the computer, micro USB to lightning to use it with your iOS audio cable to use it as pure amplifier and coaxial adapter if you want to use coaxial out and few rubber bands if you want to make so-called sandwich using the source and Q5S itself. As you can see accessory set is pretty good. There are additional accessories like leather case, for example DD 
audio made a really good case and uh, case to use uh, Q5S with your iPhone so additional accessories are also available. Also I forgot to show and to mention this adapter for the optical output if you will use some uh, optical SPD and of course uh, I was wrong not USB-C just micro USB as uh, Q5S uses same amplifier models as X7 dubs and old Q5 use only micro USB is available here. In terms of design Q5S is nothing but great. It looks slim, sleek and stylish. It's milled from single block of aluminium and uh, I, I can name, name this design balanced. So there are a lot of controls of course. Here is volume knob. Also it works as a on switch. You turn it on and uh, device power on. You, you turn it back and device is power off. But let's turn it on again. This input button is used to change the input. So USB line in optical and coaxial and wireless controls are turned separately also you can press it and you you will see the battery charge level with these indicators bottom part is occupied with amplifier module depending on the model you can have different inputs and outputs stock amp here is am3e there is a single-ended output and two balanced outs and single USB used for charging to connect to the source and so on. If you need to turn the charging off, you can do it with special control up. There is an app to control the digital tone of converter. You can access it when it's in wireless mode and you can turn off the charging from the USB so it won't drain power of your the smartphone battery. There are a lot of other models. I covered some of them before. Also, there is AM3D, if I remember right, uh, really high praised uh, amplifier that uses THX uh, operational amplifiers. I didn't test it, but uh, reviews are really positive. And also here are uh, playback control buttons, also middle button when you press it for two seconds, it will turn on Bluetooth. If you hold it for longer time, it will go into the uh, pairing mode. As you can see there is a blue LED indicator here. If I press and hold that button it starts blinking meaning Bluetooth is on and now red and uh, blue light means that it's in the pairing mode. So let me... Will it turn off again? Yeah. Also there is a small reset hole. I didn't have to use it. On the upper side there is line out optical coaxial and line out and also oh sorry of course not line out line in and also there is a bass boost switch it's really polite like adding few decibels to the lower bass and gain switch also a really good thing to have to use it with sensitive in ear monitors or something like that now let me show you how to how control application looks like actually it's built in into the film music as you can see, I connected Q5S to M11 already, so and LDAC codec is used here, so it's available in uh, it's available on Android with few music. It's available probably on iOS. I didn't test, but it should be working. So you just launch few music, and here is a Bluetooth device control. Here is Q5 shown, and here are the basic options current codec, uh, battery charge level, so you can turn on and off charge as I've said. You can turn this blue indicator off, so I like this, instantly turning on and off. You can use more the code to pass some signals this way. And will it be turning on always or until or when it's connected. Idle standby time, yes it has idle standby, so it won't uh, run out of battery if you forget forget it so when no music played after 10 minutes it will be disconnected and uh, turned off and you have you will have to turn this this uh, volume control off and on again back to wake him up if he will after power off and also here is equalizer basic but uh, pretty working option audio settings it's basically channel balance is it maximum brightness yeah 
So it's channel balance and uh, low pass filter. You can select low pass filters with ni nice indicators. And also manual with uh, Bluetooth mode, USB digital tone converter, some uh, information about the tuning and you can turn off Bluetooth if you need it in the application. So as you can see everything could be controlled via this application. And of course about the sound. For the illustration purpose uh, I will use it in wireless connection but actually main sound description I will do for the wired connection and then I will say a few words about wireless connectivity. Basically because uh, I need to describe best case scenario and uh, and best case is of course wired connection, but uh, I don't want to get the cable connected and so on. So basically how does it sound? It sounds uh, natural and resolving. Actually consider uh, Q5S as M11 on steroids. It, it's not a uh, surprise that I will take it as a player for the illustration purposes. So it's natural, it's uh, close to monitoring, it's uh, definitely resolving, but at the same time it has a powerful amplifier, so uh, it, 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 it uh, sounds a bit better than M11, but comparisons will be a bit later. So bass, bass is linear, absolutely uncolored, with really good resolution. Attacks are a bit faster, but decays are correct, so it gives nice texturing, it gives... Uh, also it has enough of driving power, so bass is really tight, really punchy, so it uh, doesn't add any coloration, so if you like some additional lows, some additional warmth, it's not a dub for you, it's just a natural, uh, actually not dub, digital tonal converter, so it's not a source for you, it just will play what is present in the record. But if record is bass heavy, there won't be issue, issues with playing in a, with representing all that lows, and actually lows are really well controlled, even going deep. As an example, for the low frequencies, I used this track before, but I will use it probably many times in future. So it's uh, Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Suites. Uh, I, never, I need never get old. Nice engaging, probably it's country rock. I'm not, not really good with genres classification. Probably it's country rock, but it has really nice engaging big drum beating all, all over this track. And this drum is a good uh, test for bass because uh, when uh, source doesn't control bass in a really in a, in appropriate way. This drum became flat and lifeless, and even sometimes it's sounding like some big tin can. But no, with Q5S you will have a big drum with nice uh, texture with this big membrane or how it calls for, uh, for drum. I'm not sure. So train is coming somewhere. I need. I will have to take a break. And I'm back. Sorry for that. It seems to me that uh, this train is hiding somewhere in the bushes, waiting uh, until I start sound description. Because when I filming uh, all previous unboxing parts, it never shows up. So uh, about the mids. Mids are natural, uncolored, linear, really resolving with nice uh, focus on the micro detailization. So you will hear um, all the tiny nuances and tiny details. At the same time, it's uh, pretty picky for the rec uh, record quality because uh, it's not adding additional weight to the instruments and to the vocal. And when uh, track is mastered poorly, it uh, can uh, sound sometimes a bit uh, lightweight. But it's not a uh, not a problem of Q5S itself, it's more a matter of track. And also if you like uh, lacking uh, weight, you can get AM2B or AM2A, so if you made some warmer sounding uh, amplifiers, so it can be solved. And uh, swappable amplifiers is a great idea sometimes. Uh, it's said that few decided to quit that. I understand why, of course, because uh, it's not a really popular product, but at the same time, sometimes it allows to get uh, better results. So, imaginary stage is uh, 
above above, uh, above average like not the hugest one but noticeably above average both in width and in depth it's typical for the natural and resolving sources really good three-dimensional positioning and uh, really good layering with clear layer separation as an example for the mid frequencies i've got marillion's brave track is runaway well everyone knows Marillion, but almost everyone likes Fish Era more, but actually I like Brave and I like their recent album, well, not so recent, uh, the last one that was released, Fear, I really like it, and Brave is a great example of the neo-progressive rock, with great, uh, actually not scenario, great uh, conceptual album with nice concept with interesting story behind and uh, Runaway is a nice uh, track because uh, vocal here is really emotional and there are speech effects at the beginning so it, requ it requires really good resolving mids and Q5S will give it to you. And uh, treble. treble is also pretty linear, you know, uncolored, linear, natural, resolving, it's, it applies to all frequencies of Q5S. It has really good treble extension, it's also a bit uh, faster attack than they should be, so sometimes also lacking a bit of weight, but it's not an issue, I think it's just on some rare tracks. At the same time it's really resolving with good resolution and uh, pretty good level of realism. So treble is really well controlled and it's saturating uh, music with overtones in a nice and enjoyable way. And as an example for the treble, Let's go back to the favorites and actually it's Sting, Bring on the Night uh, live version. I really like uh, Sting-like performance, live performance, sorry, because his accompanying musicians are really professionals and this track is also a good example because it's recorded a bit poorly. Well, not really poor, but not as perfect as it could be. And because of that, percussions, uh, all percussion, all the cymbals are a bit uh, veiled and moved to the second stage. And uh, source with good uh, resolution uh, on the treble is required. And Q5S really managed to uh, separate all that uh, brass instruments, all that percussions and represent them in an acceptable way. So it's a good level of technical performance. And uh, speaking about wireless connection, with you know, with LDAC it's really good sound quality. Even with uh, first version of Q5 uh, that has, had, has, has, it's still available probably, that has only aptx was okay you know it's not that important what codec i used uh, it's more important how digital analog converter and amplifier are implemented but of course better codec means better sound quality so with ldac you will lose a bit of uh, resolution on upper mids and treble and you will lose a bit of uh, bass control but at the same time mids are uh, mid mids remaining really nice in terms of resolution, in terms of realism, probably LDAC codec put more of bandwidth for the mid frequencies. I'm not sure, it's just my guess. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, who knows. So, uh, degradation of sound is uh, noticeable, but at the same time it's uh, really minor. So, you, you, I think you can freely use it in wireless mode. If your smartphone supports LDAC, you will have a really good sound quality. And also I need to say a few words about the Bluetooth connectivity, it's also really good, nice range, up to 10 meters without any issues, at least uh, at my flat, when there, uh, there is no many interference sources out there. So, to summarize, natural resolving powerful device for those who like uh, uncolored representation. And a few words about comparisons, I had only two devices probably that could be compared with Q5 and uh, 
Q with Q5S and third one is regular Q5. So basically first comparison is with old version of Q5 and I can say it's definitely an upgrade. Better amplification model will give you more driving power, more authority and more natural sounding. In pure dark mode difference isn't uh, as big, uh, it's uh, smaller but also noticeable. And of course if you using wireless connection LDAC is uh, definitely a good deal, at least uh, to my ears, because LDAC definitely improves uh, treble, improves mids, so it's better codec than in regular APTX. Another device is, uh, uh, what, is what is it? <laughs> what is its name? It's Centron's Blue Duck, another nice uh, wireless uh, digit digital tonal converter with amplifier. It has only APTX, so all APTX uh, the sound degradation uh, applicable, but in wired mode uh, Blue Duck is more resolving, more analytical and even more focused on the micro contrast. It's kind of device that is focused on the micro detailization and it will give you the maximum detailization. Sometimes it's even sounding a bit too analytical, but if you like such representation you can consider it. And third device, it's uh, iFi XD XDSD probably it should be pronounced. It's a totally different representation. It's more musical, a bit more warmer with a bit of highlighted emotion. So it's totally different representation, whatever you like. I prefer more natural representation, so my choice is Q5S. Also, I can definitely uh, recommend you to search YouTube for some other reviews. I've seen nice review made by Kura Wong and uh, it do additional comparison. So if you will be interested, I will put the links into the description. I definitely recommend you to get more opinions. Of course, the best option is to listen to some device yourself. But if you can do that, just uh, gather more opinions. So it was Fio Q5S, really worth upgrade of previous Q5 and one of the most uh, feature rich and digital tonal converters with headphone amplifiers and one of the best sounding in this price range. So thank you for attention.